So let's start a new game, shall we? Um, one quick disclaimer before we get started. I understand that this is a sneaking game, that the whole point of it is to try and be as stealthy as possible. And I will attempt to. However, <laughs> when someone like me plays, which means someone with no skill whatsoever, if I were to try and complete this without getting caught or all stealthy-like, we would be here for years. It's not going to happen. So when I do get caught and things go to hell, just accept it. Alright? Okay. Uh, I will do my best, like I said. Just don't expect a lot. Got normal. Radar. Standard radar. Not just. Yeah, sure. Game start. Let's do this. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. Metal Gear. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the pause button and then the A button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the pause button and then the A button to receive the call. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. No one but you will be able to hear it. However, that doesn't stop them from hearing you talking back. <laughs> Just pointing that out there, sneaky boy. All right, let's go back over here and get this little ration thing. Uh, I have... Okay, it has been a while since I've played this game. But I played this game. <gasps> so I do remember several of the like the little secrets and stuff. Like it coming over here. And <laughs> Which way did he go? <laughs> uh, but that doesn't mean that I remember level layouts and stuff like that. For the most part. I remember Easter eggs here and there. Alright, come on. Now, let's see if I can get through even this first part undetected. Right, so there's a guy there. No one this way? Where is that? Okay, so he's there. Where is this guy? There's that guy. Let's try and take him out first. Please don't. Just please stop. Please stop. Oh, 
crack. Oh god, don't see me. Don't see me! Okay, good. Actually, he didn't see me. Uh, hang on. There's a ration over here that I need. There we go. <gasps> what happened? Who did that? Oh, hey, look, a third guard. No! 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 Crud. Well, that didn't work out well, did it? Ow! Oh, let's try this again, shall we? Just kill me. Kill me now! Poor snake. Can't even get through the first room alive. Snake. What happened? Snake! <laughs> you see, there was snake! this body, and, uh. Well, you see, what happened was. There was this body, and then there was, like, bullets. It's all kind of a blur, honestly. Haha, <laughs> Russian. Okay. Now, let's try this again. I did well the first time. You know, minus the whole guy seeing me thing. Let's try and get the ration first this time. Alright. Alright, so there's that guy. Instead of trying to kill him in that corridor, let's see where he goes first. Maybe if he comes around this box on my left side, I can kill him then. Let's see, where does he go? Instead of killing him right there... I thought so. Oh, oh come on! Oh wow, that was close. Uh, no, no, stop that. Stop cutscene. No, darn it. Don't use your radar. Don't use your radar. There we go. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Sweet. Oh gosh. Just get in here. <laughs> get in the locker. Where is he? Can I just get up the elevator? Can I just go? I just gonna go. I got my M9. That's wait, that's a train gun! Woohoo! Okay, so semi-successful there. <laughs> I guess that's the best we can hope for, honestly. Do, 
have a tranquilizer gun, though. That'll make things a easier. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. All the cool kids have it. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. A Hein D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? Taking off, apparently. I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... Short. Cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cute. Fine. You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Really no, short. I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. What's this? I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake? But I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies. And the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. <laughs> Make sure you don't let them see them. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake. We're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to save your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but...
but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. They supplied me with nicotine. <laughs> Duh. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. What about the air duct near the door? Mm, one sentry on the left, and one on the right. They're armed with 556ers and pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on your snake. Okay. Um... I don't really remember what to do. Oh, my gun! My gun! My gun! My gun! Yay! I can shoot people in the face now. In fact, let's give that a try. Now, there's a guy up there. He's kind of far away. I don't have many of these. Oh, there's a guy. Alright. Let's shoot you in the face! I think I missed. Got him that time. Did I? I don't think I got him that time. Got him that time. <laughs> Let's get the guy upstairs. Ah, oh, there's a camera right there. Did I get him? I think I got him. Will he fall to the sleepy world? Yeah! Okay, okay, so that's how I disarm that. I don't want to get too close. But I need to get this guy over here. I don't remember how long they stay unconscious for. So I still need to hurry. Ooh, good, I got more M9 bullets. And there's one more guy to take care of. Let's go back on this side. Let's see. He should be... What the... Ugh. Hang on. What the heck happened to my monitor? It just went dark all of a sudden. Weird. Well, whatever. Okay, let's try this again. There's a guy over there doing his thing. Let's shoot him in the chest. That should take him out pretty easily enough. Right? Is he sleeping standing up? <laughs> He's supposed to fall over. Oh, crap. Oh, what happened? What the? Where did you come from? Holy cow. I'm going to have to redo this. Or not. Okay, yeah. Got to have to Come on, come on! I guess I got too close to the spotlights. I just want to know where those guys topped out of. Probably hiding in boxes or something. <laughs> oh, calm down, sweetheart. It's okay. There's a continue button. Honestly. Okay, let's try this again. Come over here. We were doing well. Come over here. We'll shoot this man in the face. Once he comes over here. Well, we can try and get him. He's a bit far, though. We can try. No, wait, this guy's the more important one. I got him. I know I got him. Where did I get him? 
fall. There you go. Wow, he actually listened to my orders. Good job, sir. Alright. Let's get this guy. No, missed. That one got him. In the face, even. Alright. Unfortunately, tranquilizer darts do not take out cameras. I remember that. I need an actual gun to do that. Hey, give me stuff. Give. Thank you. Let's try. Can I hit him from here? No. Can I? Is he sleeping? Oh. Oh, perfect. There we go. Brilliant. Oh, good. There's my pistol. My regular pistol. Anything under here? Yes, more M9 rounds. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. Now that I have my pistol... Uh, let's take out these cameras. Last thing I need is for an alert to sound because I got tagged by a camera. Come on. Yes! What is it? Chaff grenades. Oh, good. Um, there's also chaff grenades up here. Where those spotlights are. You know, up here. But I'm not going to get them. Because I don't use chaff grenades that much. And it's definitely not worth getting caught over. However... I don't remember what's in here, so let's just go ahead and take out the camera. Uh, lockers. Nothing. And stun grenades. Okay, stun grenades. I can work with that. Probably never use them, but you never know. Alright, let's hurry. I don't know how long these guys stay awake for. Let's take out this camera. Let's go. Go upstairs, shake down that last guard, and there should be a vent up here somewhere. Yeah, look at me. All stealth-like and, you know, good. What's this? Bandage. I'm even doing this all non-lethal-like, you know? Well, okay. Almost non-lethal like. Alright, let's go. <laughs> that base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that too. You're not going to believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hind D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That Hind will be coming back soon. Kai. Oh. It's a good thing it's not dark in here or anything. It'd be really difficult to see things otherwise. <laughs> like now. Um, I have cigarettes. That doesn't really help. Scope. Well, that helps. Okay. Like in the third game. 
So we'll go this way. Oh, there's some light. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Wait, I'm... I'm in a tank hangar. There's not a lot of floral or, or fauna. <laughs> let's talk to people, shall we? Actually, let's save. That'd be a good idea. Sorry, the soliton radar won't work in a narrow space. Too much harmonic resonance. The radio waves produce interference, and we can't analyze the topographic data. Try to hang on until you get to a more open space, okay? Okay. Save. Over my test file. There we go. Ta-da! Don't need that one anymore. Oh, no. Don't give up, Snake. Okay. Yeah, I have a test file where I literally, literally spent, I think, 46 minutes in the first room just running around making a general fool of myself. I thought about recording it, but I was just testing to make sure everything was working. <laughs> I think I was torturing those poor guards. Alright, let's talk to Master. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. But not me for advice, because I just spout philosophy. And stuff about your mind being your weapon. <laughs> uh, Campbell? Snake, when you enter a narrow space... Oh, I don't need to know about this. Just intrusion mode. Okay, right. I wanted to cover something real quick. I forgot to, with Mei Ling. In the original Metal Gear Solid, Mei Ling had a Chinese accent. It was the same voice actress, but she used a Chinese accent. In this game, she doesn't, and a lot of people complain about that. Ooh, hello, what do we have here? A tank hanger, that's what we have there. Uh, a lot of people complain about that. However, if you think about it, it makes more sense, and I think that's why they uh, dropped the accent, because she, uh, Mei Ling is Chinese-American. She grew up in America. And very few people, Asians especially, grow up in America and still have a very strong Asian accent. I moved the DARPA chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? Oh, they just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. <coughs> uh, really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah, and they say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway. I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. First of all, isn't that the voice actor, the, the, the new guard, or the guard that was like, he's killed three people? Wasn't it the same guy that did Spike from Cowboy Bebop? Sounded like him. Secondly, I love how <laughs> the second the guy says he's using stealth, Snake's like, oh, well, it couldn't be me. <laughs> I wouldn't know what stealth was if it slapped me in the face. Uh, <laughs> I suck at this game. All right, um... Hello, we have a, a, a pantry, I think. Ooh. Alright. What else we got? 